Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedora. Today we're gonna be reviewing Tandem app. If you are a language learner, you must, you must practice the language. You must do the exercises if you can, you must speak, you must listen, you must do something real. Pretty much, if you're learning just grammar, it's not going to help you when you're going to be in a real conversation. So, when you're learning, you should be emulating what you, what, what you want to do. Of course, if you want to be a Russian a writer and write in Russian, then don't stress about speaking and listening. Just learn how to write, okay? But the majority of people, of course, they want to communicate. They want to talk. They want to understand Russian. And that's when all these amazing apps come in. Hello Talk, Tandem, and a bunch of others that are helping you to get that practice in. Tandem is very close to Hello Talk when it comes to what it serves to do. Tandem app connects a person who is learning one language and is fluent in another with another person and the languages are reversed. So for example, if I know Russian, and I want to learn English, I'm going to find a person who wants, who wants to learn... Wait. If I want to learn Russian and I know English, I got to find a person that knows English and wants to learn Russian. So we can mutually exchange the language. We can, I can teach you and you can teach me. Of course, for example, today I'm teaching you, tomorrow you're teaching me. Okay, so that's how Tanzan works. It connects those two people together. Now let me talk, and I'm going to be mostly comparing it to Hello Talk, because Hello Talk is kind of like the most popular app for language exchange, as of my knowledge. Maybe it's some other app that I have no idea about, but Hello Talk is the most used. I think I might be wrong. And I want to say right off the top, I would prefer Tandem over Hello Talk, and let me explain myself. Tandem has a great system of selecting their users. Before I, let, let me tell you a story. Before I made this video, of course, I got the app, I, I registered, and before I could even talk to anybody, I had to wait. So like, there was a queue. You're waiting until you get approved. And the first time, you know, you, you fill out your interests, things that you want to learn, and like, there are three questions. I don't know what they are, I forgot already. But it's basically describing who you are. And I kind of just, you know, been lazy, just one word in each, like, what are your interests? Sports. Uh, what you want, you want to talk about? Music. Just one word, things. And at the end, after I completed all of that, it said, wait up to seven days, business days, for you to get approved. And if you didn't get approved, reach out, reach out to us. I waited for two weeks, two full weeks. Got on the app. And I was still not approved. I was like, something must be wrong. So I, I did it again, downloaded the app again, re-registered. And this time I put in three words for each, like your interest, sports, music, teaching, whatever. And, that's, and that was the same for every single question. And I got approved in, in like three days. So the app actually knows who wants to learn and who is going to be proactive in learning. Because if you just put one word, then most likely you're not really interested, okay? And that's how the app, I think, selects people. And probably, probably they look at your picture and everything, I don't know. But pretty much it selects people who are going to be on the app. So Tandem is much better when it comes to the audience. Audience actually wants to learn and is willing to wait for seven days to get approved before talking. So there's going to be less spam because spam spammers are just gonna go on hello talk re register real quick and then send out all the spam messages they're not going to wait for seven days so it's gonna be way less spam way less inappropriate people who are gonna be just there not for language learning but for some other purposes so when it comes to the audience audience is much better now I want to say how tandem connects people before you can talk to anybody, you have to put in like a message of what you would like to talk about. For example, you can say, hello guys, let's talk about the new movie, It. And when, if I am interested in that, I'm going to click on you and say, hey, I really love the movie, It. What about you? So 
you're not just texting like, hello, and then it's awkward, right? Now you already know what the topic is, and if you have not watched the movie It, then you, you're not going to click on that person. You're going to click on the person whose interests are closer, than you, are closer to you, okay? But with Hello Talk, what I found is just going to be a list of people who want to learn their description of their profile, which is still good. But I think that when you have a topic already, you're going to go in already knowing what to talk about. When it comes to Hello Talk, you have to create something. You have to think of something. So that was great for Tantan. Next one is features. Features are pretty much the same on Hello Talk and on Tandem because you can still correct sentences, sentences, you can still translate. I believe you can still record your voice message. I think I might be wrong, actually. I think so. Um, and you can also call people. The huge difference is, is um, Tandem is very protective of their users. So not everybody can call you. They can only call you if the person, okay, somebody can call you only if you follow them or if you have sent a message to them. So for you to get a call, you must have been proactive with that person before. You must have sent out a message or followed them. So like it, the initiative came from you first. And that's, that's the only reason, uh, that, that's the only, what the word I'm looking for, uh, that's the only way they can call you, okay? So they're very protective of their users. And finally, I want to say that the design, design of everything is just much better. When I first got on to Hello Talk, at first I looked at it, I got confused, and then erased, erased the app. I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. But then, since people asked me to use it, I, I got over myself, got the app, and then I figured it out. So when it comes to design, it's much more intuitive and in tandem way more intuitive and I think it's just it's getting their audience not by the quantity of people I don't care if it's five million people I'm gonna still find that one person is gonna talk to me but by the quality of their services by the quality of their design by the quality of their ideas or the protection of the people and they are willing to sacrifice those people who are gonna weed away before the seven days are over, because then I'm not gonna wait, they want to write that second. And that makes it much more secure, much more comfortable. People are way more pleasant on Tandem. So my recommendation to you is use Tandem, but if you find HelloTalk more useful for you or more comfortable for you, it is still okay. Those two apps are amazing, regardless of which one you choose. Maybe you're looking for for different kind of people. Maybe you're looking for something else, but to me, if I was using it right now, I would have used Tandem. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope now that you're gonna check Tandem out. And if you have not been using Hello Talk before, you can use Tandem or Hello Talk. It's gonna help you immensely. But that's it. I'll see you in the comments. Пока-пока.